sing and praise voice cries out in the wilderness you can hear the wind blowing the voice cries out in the wilderness being straight of hell before Good morning. Please stand. Our opening song is number 485, A Voice Cries Out. Please join in. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your I'm Father Kevin Dyer. I am the chaplain over at Jesuit High School on the other side of town, and we're taking over a bunch of the masses for Father Mark and for the other priests these next two weeks, so it's good to be with you all. I'm used to talking to high school guys, so it's good to get outside the walls there and uh, and talk to some sensible people every once in a while. So let's begin this Mass by calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord to grant us His mercy. Please. 
Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ your Son, we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go high up onto a mountain, Zion, herald of great glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the city of Judea, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him. Let him recon his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the Jews with care. The word of the Lord. The response is, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. With you, O Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey, and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. I always enjoyed having guests over to the house. When I was a kid, but even now, I always get excited whenever anybody is coming over. Whether it's my cousins coming over, whether it was my friends coming over, whether it was mom and dad's friends coming over, I always got excited when I knew that there was going to be a party. What I did not like was the day before they arrived. Because what happens the day before you're having a bunch of guests to your house? All right, everybody knows what happens. We got to clean the house. We got to clean the house. We got to put everything in order. I got to clean my room. I got to put my toys away. I got to make my bed. And then mom has other stuff to do too because we got to go to the store. We got to you know, start making food. Probably the yard needs to be raked. Probably going to have to clean out the garage. There's a lot of stuff to do anytime company's coming over, right? Because you have to be ready. You don't want company to come over and your house is all dirty. But I was willing to, you know, go through a day of cleaning and doing chores that I didn't like so that I could have a good time with my cousins and my friends during the party. This is what Jesus is saying to us today. That we have to prepare if we want to be able to celebrate down the road. We are in a season called Advent, four weeks that lead up to Christmas. And the whole thing about Advent is preparing ourselves to receive Jesus. And so in the gospel today, it's talking about a guy named John the Baptist. John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin, and he came before Jesus. And it said that his job was to prepare the way. John the Baptist was in charge of cleaning the house and making sure everybody did their chores so that the house was clean when Jesus came. And so it said he went out into the desert and he lived there. It's not fun to live in a desert. There's not a lot of water. It gets really hot, then it gets really cold. And it said that he ate nothing but honey and bugs. Honey and bugs, that's all he ate. And he didn't have fancy clothes. He wore itchy, scratchy clothes all the time. And he did this as a way to tell people, look, you have to give away your sins. You have to get rid of all your sins. You have to give up all the things that lead you away from God and get yourself ready. And if you're ready, then you will understand when Jesus comes. All right, 
we need to get ourselves ready. The good news is you don't have to eat bugs. No one is asking you to eat bugs. If you want to eat bugs, go ahead. Just cook them first. They might taste good. Some people like bugs. I don't eat many bugs, and I'm not asking you to eat bugs. But what I am asking you to do is to give up your sins. So don't yell at your brothers and sisters. Don't yell at your mom and your dad. When they ask you to do something, do it. When you don't get your way, don't pout. Just say, all right, I accept it, and go on and live a happy life. That's the most important way to get yourself ready for Christmas. There's another thing you, t you can do, and you need to pray. So notice when you came into church today, your teachers asked you to do what? The first thing you do is you say a prayer and you tell Jesus hi. That's a great thing to do when we first enter into a church, tell Jesus hello. During the middle of the mass, when I hold up the host and I hold up the chalice, what we call the consecration, there's a little prayer I always said. They taught me when I was your age, they taught me to say it. When you hold up the host and hold up the chalice and they ring the bells, you say, my Lord and my God. Because that's what St. Thomas said when he met Jesus after the resurrection. So the priest holds up the host and you say in your heart, my Lord and my God. And each night before you go to bed, say three Hail Marys. At my first communion, and some of you all will make your first communion this year, at my first communion, Father Learman told us, every night before you go to bed, say three Hail Marys. And I did it for years and years and years and years after that. And the Blessed Mother watched over me, and she'll watch over you. So learn to pray and give up your sins. And then when Christmas comes around, you'll be ready for the party. Let us stand and offer our prayers. response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that the season of Advent will bring us new, renewed hopes as we seek to live more fully for God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world that all people will seek equal justice for everyone and and to end discrimination of any kind. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our hearts that this Advent season will help prepare us to be ready for welcome Christ in all the ways he comes to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Name family, that all of us may be renewed during Advent to live lives as followers of Jesus and to spread the good news of his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community that during this Advent season we will each willingly open our hearts and minds to the needs of those around us and be Jesus' helping hands and helping those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer.
for our holy for all who are sick or housebound that they will experience the healing touch of Jesus we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer For all those who have died, that they may know the joy of eternal life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, we lift up to you the needs of our lives, asking that in your great mercy you receive them and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 493, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Please join in.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. I really enjoyed being with you all today. It was, uh, it was a blessing to be able to be here. I want to do one last thing of preparation, okay? One last thing for preparation for Christmas. And it's on how to receive communion, okay? So when we come forward for communion, you, you come forward, you go to the priest, and what you do with your hands, all right. Everybody knows the right and their left, okay? All right, your right hand goes on the bottom. And just do it right now, right in front of you. Put your right hand out like this. All right, put your left hand out on top of it, just like that. Okay, and then nice and flat. Doesn't, not like this, not like, you know, like, not, not like this or anything like that. Just left hand on top of the right hand. Just like that, okay, good. The priest will say, body of Christ, and you say, amen, good. He'll put, he'll put the host right there on top of your hand. And if it's nice and flat, it won't fall off, nothing like that. And then when you receive it, you just step to the side so that the other person can come up. You take it and you consume it right there, okay? So it's not, it's not side by side. Oh no, not side by side. It's not a cup like this, otherwise I'm gonna ha have to touch all your hands. Don't want that. And it's not grab the host either. We don't want that. Left on top of right, host on top, just like that. All kinds of different ways that we're preparing. And this is gonna be, even though it's a crazy year, it's gonna be the greatest Christmas ever, right? Greatest Christmas ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our recessional song is number 870, Soon and Very Soon. Please join in.
Take pictures of what? Oh, okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the lights on because somebody, they're coming, they're using the church right after this. So I have to leave the lights on. So that's perfect. Yes, ma'am.